Karibu sana, we have another edition of The Audit, and today we have the wisest man in town. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most, you know, the best mathematician, the most intellectual, <laughs> and the grand old man, Babu Owino. Yes. Karibu sana. Niko salama mwishimiwa, Babu. Why do you call me mwishimiwa? I've, I've not been given this thing. Of course, you are the, you are the standing MP. <laughs> no. Asante sana. For Nyandu. Yes. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante. Asante. So, mm. in the audit, we audit people. Mm. We want to know all these crazy things you have done. You know, <laughs> yes. This Babu is always blamed for everything. Yes. If somebody has not given birth, Babu win. <laughs> 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 if somebody yeah. has done a crazy idea, yeah. you know, but generally we can start from um, just knowing you as a person. Yes. Your birth and uh, growing up. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Robert Alai. I'm very grateful for this opportunity that you've uh, given me. Mm. It's a rare opportunity, especially to have an interview with you. <laughs> because Why you do know, people say that? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm very rare. Wherever you've reached now in the echelons of life, <laughs> you are at the highest level possible. Uh, so it's uh, a pleasure yeah. is all mine. As and as and uh, and so yeah. I'm uh, Babu Owino, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Longili. It's the name. Yes, uh, born bred in uh, Kisumu, mm -hmm. came from uh, uh, um, all the way from Kisumu, Nyalenda Slums. Yes. And during that period, I went to primary school called Central Primary School in Kisumu, mm -hmm. went to Kisumu Boys High School. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I came to Nairobi. My first time to be in Nairobi was in 2007. What? Yes. That's the first and time I stepped. Conquered Nairobi. <laughs> you see, you see, those who come, they come with a vision. Yes, yes. <laughs> those yes, who are born yes. there yes. probably might think that it belongs to them. If there was a college in Kisumu, yes. you probably would have not come to Kisumu. Definitely. If, if, yes. <laughs> By good. that time, if mm -hmm. there was a college there, I would have not come. But uh, my vision was to uh, attend the University of Nairobi. Yes. Because I was made to understand that it was. And it is the only university which is not named after dead people. On a light <laughs> note, on a light note. <laughs> so, so tell me the one which are named after dead people. Kenyatta, <laughs> Kenyatta dead. University, Jomo Kenyatta, <laughs> Ijaton, Moi. So all in all, <laughs> it's either named after towns or, or after. after but on a light note. Of course, university is a university. Yes, yes, Any yes. student... Uh, I've never in, looked at it at that time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the joke that yeah. we used to make. Mm. But any university is... Any, uh, uh, a university is a university. Mm, mm. The lecturers mm. and are going the same training. Yes, and yes. when they are lecturing, they have mm, this, almost mm. the same content. Mm. And uh, actual science in Maseno mm -hmm. or in Moi or in Kenyatta or Jomo Kenyatta mm. uh, is the same as actual science at the University of Nairobi. Okay. So when you're doing journalism at the University of Nairobi mm -hmm. and you're doing journalism, for example, in... Uh, Could it is PC, different, though? It's just the same. Probably, you see ways of delivery, okay. maybe. Okay. And uh, the other day, we could learn from uh, high school. Mm. You saw uh, number one student in the whole country came from Muranga, not from Stare or yes, Nor yes, Alliance yes, yes, or Maseno. Yes, and yes. Uh, number two came from Agorosari. Mm, so that tells mm. you that... Uh, it's about an individual. Mm, mm, individual effort. Yes. What you make from your life. Yes. So all the way I came to University of Nairobi, but before that I did my A-levels, did from five and six, where? where? At Millennium Academy. Where is that now? It's the Cambridge system. Actually, it's along Peponi Road here. Yes. Just uh, along Peponi Road. I got a scholarship mm. to do my A-levels. Mm. Then I did uh, uh, A-levels, mm. where I did uh, get, I did uh, six diplomas in A levels yes. for a period of around one and a half years. Mm. Then after that I joined the University of Nairobi. How did you get to the year two thousand and eight? From eight four four to A level. There's no much difference. When I cleared from four, mm. uh, uh, I didn't score a grade that uh, uh, that I wanted to score. Then I was So you wanted A, not A minus. In fact I bought a newspaper to check my name. <laughs> Uh, 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 among the top 100 <laughs> yes. in Kenya, yes. I didn't get, then went, uh, narrowed it down to top, top 100 200. in Nyanza province, yes. didn't get, narrowed it down to top 100 uh, district, mm. then didn't get, then I was so disappointed. So that's when uh, I opted. Actually, it's a long story because how I got the scholarship, mm. there used to be a gentleman by the name Ken, may his soul rest in peace, mm. he used to drink in our house, mm. See, and, he, and he was an electrician. 
In your house in Nyalenda? In Nyalenda, used to your drink changa. Your mother used to brew. Yes, my mother used to brew and sell mm. changa. Mm. So Ken was a client, was a customer, a regular customer. Mm. So when Ken, uh, actually when Ken, uh, 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 he used to work for another guy called uh, Jagu. Mm, Jagu. Jagu. Jagu had his children in Millennium Academy. Mm. So Jagu used to get Ken through my mom's phone. Mm. So my mom's phone, my mom bought a, a small phone that was uh, stolen, mm. <laughs> handling stolen property yes. from, uh, from the stage. From the broker. <laughs> from yeah. stage, you yes. know Kisumu yes. stage. Yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> At 200 shillings. Yes. So Jagu used to get Ken through my mom's phone. Mm. So one day I was carrying that phone. So when Jagu called, I received, and I told him before I could release, uh, uh, before I would re release Ken, mm. he had to give me 200 shillings. So I told him <laughs> we have to do a buy, uh, we have to transact. Mm. For me to bring Ken to you, give me 200 shillings. shillings. Then he told me why, what if, uh, just I'm coming, mm. but make sure I meet you with Ken. Mm. So he came all the way to Nyalenda. He came to pick Ken, of course. So when he, when, when, when he came, he asked me whether I'd finished my Form 4 or not. So I told him I'd, I was done with my Form 4. Mm. Then he told me, what if I get you a scholarship to do a levels? So I didn't know what that the levels were <laughs> yes, because yes. the A levels that I used to know was were there. the were the then A levels yes, that were being yes, done yes. by uh, 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 yes through neck the old system mm. that is the form five and six mm. but these A levels is the Cambridge system yes the, the Cambridge IGCSE system, system the IGCSE yes. actually IGCSE mm. so having not scored what I wanted mm. in high school I opted to pursue the A level the A level what was the university doing now. So university I was called to do business management yes. at Egerton yes. University. Mm. Then I opted not to go mm. and join a levels, at the study the Academy. Cambridge system because uh, uh, because I I just wanted to pursue actual science. Mm. Then at, in a levels I scored a distinction. Mm. Now I used that distinction to join University of Nairobi. So they recognize study, that. Yes. They do recognize if you do a levels, mm. they'll admit you with that mm. to do actual science mm. at the University of Nairobi. Mm. So that is how that is why I came to Nairobi. Mm. Yes. So oh, okay. the journey the journey has been long. That needs <laughs> needs a whole day of narration so yes, that I yes. don't so need you, the the you, nitty gritty is there you the nuts and the bolts. <laughs> yes. You did actual science. Yes. You finished it. Yes. Then did law. I did actual science, yes. got first class honors yes. in actual science. Mm. We were only four yes. out of uh, 86 yes. in our class who got first class honors. Mm. And then I did master's in actual science. Mm. Then I did law, mm. got second class, upper division. Mm. Then master's in law. Then now I'm doing uh, a diploma course that is Kenya School of Law. Mm. Yes, For you to be advocate training yes. program. Yes. Uh, and actually, when I came in, I told you that I was having an online class. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. yes. So I'm skying <laughs> today's class. <laughs> I don't need to score 100 to pass. <laughs> but you think, you think you're still going to score? Because, you know, people have been failing the, the CLE exams. Actually, the most important thing is the vision. You, yes, know, the vision. you know me by 2022, mm. I must have uh, a law firm. I must mm. have a law firm. So definitely I will pass Why that firm? exam. Why not have the be an advocate. Definitely I'll be, I'll be admitted. Mm. So once I have my firm, I also want to create jobs. Mm. Because there are so many advocates who are around who, who are not employed. Actually, they don't have that opportunity. Mm. They don't even have somewhere, even but for the students. But you can't employ everybody. Even, even the students, they don't even have somewhere to do their pupillage. Mm. So for me, I will practice. Mm. And the first people that I will help mm. are the people selling changa. Because that is where I came from. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my first assignment yes. is to go to court mm -hmm. on a pro bono basis mm -hmm. to do it for free mm -hmm. for those people who are selling Changa, changa so mm -hmm. that I can, I can help them be free. Mm -hmm. And for those, uh, uh, even up to date, what I normally do mm -hmm. for my constituents, if you are arrested selling Changa, 
I come, I go to the police station, release you. If, 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 if at all the police are uh, adamant to release you, then when you are taken to court, I pay you a bill. Mm. Then add you more stock mm. to sell more changa. Do you know why I'm saying that? No. Because when a, when a mom or a dad mm. resolves mm. to selling changa, which mm. means that they've, they've hit the rock bottom, mm. they're in their lowest moments. Mm. There is no any other means mm. that they can use to sustain their family. Mm. So that is the only other way that they, that they could use to bring up their family, to pay fee, to bring food on the table, to pay their rent. Mm. So, be that as it may, having been brought up in such an environment mm. of selling changa, mm. it pains me to see, those things. to see that those people are suffering. So what do I do? Because I don't know what the product of that changa may be in the foreseeable future. That child who's being educated mm. may turn out to be another Babu Owino, may turn out to be a member of parliament, may turn out to be a CEO somewhere, may turn out to create jobs for other people. Mm. Mm. So that's why I encourage them. If you are selling Chama, Changa, just continue selling. And I tell the chiefs and the policemen around. But that can, can we do, because now you have a better platform of parliament. Yes. Can you create a law which, because I personally, yes. I feel Changa is one of the best things to have ever happened to this country. Yes. But the problem is that there's no law legalizing it. So it remains an illegal drink. It's, there's no law also making it illegal, but it remains just illegal because there's no law making it legal. I think the main reason why Changa was, uh, uh, was made illegal mm -hmm. is probably because of the consequences. Mm -hmm. And what every happens? other thing has a consequence. Even drinking too including much water. Including sex. Even what? <laughs> Even sex has consequences <laughs> because we love to pay a fee. The product of sex is a baby. Yes. And because uh, of that baby, there's a responsibility. Yes, they are called yes, the, yes. the consequences of choice. Yes. Yes. So it comes as a result of the choice that you make. Mm. But um, with these traditional brews, mm. these are ways of embracing culture. And also empowering people. And also empowering people. Because you and know, you see, mm. alcohol generally mm. has the OH bonds, mm -hmm. has carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. The carbohydrates is a source of energy. Mm -hmm. So when we look at alcohol from a different context, it's only that now I don't consume it because mm. it made me have a lot of energy. <laughs> and I used it in the wrong way. But, <laughs> but all in all... <laughs> so you have the, you have the OH bonds, okay. And the so, energy. But you know, Americans, our friend Americans on Twitter would like to say that all our problems, including getting fat, you know, yes. the, 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 the excess fats, the, the unwanted, wanted energy in your body is from carbohydrates and the proteins are the which, best things to ever happen. which is true but consumption in excess yes consumption. because there are also the benefits outweighs the yeah, demerits the, the merits demerits. outweighs the demerits yes. so for me when it comes to this traditional uh, brews mm. they should be embraced because you find that uh, when we even go for the traditional marriages mm. the traditional setups in funerals mm. you see most of the drinks that are being consumed yeah are those drinks, yes. which Changa also brings Busa. people together. There's Busa, there's mm. Changa, there's Muratina. Yeah. Yes, in Tanzania, there's um, Nazi. Yeah, there's Nazi. Yes, so they should yeah. be so I, I, saw, I saw in the UK, people are selling Muratina in supermarkets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you can't sell it here. You can't here, sell you it can't here. sell it. So the, yeah. the government should not also be so tough on certain uh, issues. Yeah, I there think are you, many I think things to deal with. I think you, you need to do it through parliament also. Yes. Because the challenge I get, especially now with my area in Nyando, what happens is that there's a lot of importation of illegal drinks from mm. Uganda. But I think it's already legalized. Eh? Mm. It's already legalized. It's only that they're really, the way they want it to be implemented, mm. the standards are so high. That's yes, why so you high. find that those people who are low, because a person selling Changa will not even get money to go and get a license. From cabs and, and yes, so and, on. Yes. Mm. And uh, to take this Changa through all that process. Yes, yes, yes. Of and uh, with the rate of corruption also in yeah. the country, People somebody might just... Bags. Yes. Yeah, so, so it it's... becomes so tedious. Mm. But the, then when I used to sell it, mm. yes, I used to consume too much of it. Mm. But, what is uh, Mama doing now? <laughs> I told Mama to just rest <laughs> so that I can feed her. Because that time to work on me yes, already passed. passed. Yes. So I told her. What if something happens to you today? 
Uh, nothing will happen to you today. <laughs> 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 Something happens to you today. What I know. She's, she's remaining with problems. What I know. But uh, she, right now she's well. Mm. She's well. At, at least there's some little yes. investments here and there that can, can give her income per month. Yes. That at least even when I'm not there, mm. of which... If I'm not there, conditional clause, mm. of which I'm, I'll still be there. Mm. Yes, so mm. she'll she'll still be okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so so apart from apart from Changa. Yes. Ndom, what what is oh, your bangi. view? Yeah, Bangi, mm. Mm. and there's now a new breed of Bangi from Ethiopia called Shashamani. Mm. Shash. Shash. Yes. I don't know what you think of those because you know. You know, I lie, in my life, mm. there's nothing I haven't consumed. I've consumed soft drugs. Mm -hmm. moderately soft yes, like and the one, hardest of the drugs which one is uh, uh, soft like uh, bang is soft uh, bang bang is bang is a hard drug okay, is because a hard drug, because yeah. it can also it's something that also That's can good. bring some insanity, insanity when yeah. consumed in uh, in, in excess, excess. Yeah. yeah i've also done cocaine mm -hmm. i've also done heroin mm -hmm. i've done a lot of drugs i've yes. done every brands of alcohol different yes. brands but at least that was in my last life yes this previous is my life. new life that was in my previous Bubble life 2.0 <laughs> <laughs> this is yes. now in my new life yes and i do accept that uh, when you're in those drugs a lot can happen hmm. you can make some decisions which are impaired yes and uh, there's nothing that these drugs add to the body mm. if at all it can destroy all body organs what and you, what it can lead consume, to probably death too much task uh, Same thing happens. Too much tasker also can bring a lot of tension. You will have a belly. <laughs> you won't perform. Because yes. when you have a belly, how yes. can you now move? The restriction of movement. You know, you need to have a body <laughs> meant for speed and comfort. <laughs> like mine. <laughs> so every other thing consumed in excess yes. is dangerous. But um, uh, as a youth, mm. you want to know a lot. You want to, you are, you are adventurous. Yes. You want, you want to, to, experiment. to experiment a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You want to use yourself as a control experiment. Mm. So in the course of that, you will be making mistakes. The problem is, mm. when you make a mistake, having known that you're going to make a mistake, mm. that is the problem. Yes, but when yes. you make a mistake, Annoying. not knowing mm. that you'll make a mistake, mm. then you can be excused. Mm. But as a youth, people do a lot of things in their youth mm. age. And... Uh, we, we can allow it, yes. It's only that uh, after you learn certain experiences, when, 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 uh, when, you, when you meet your Damascus <laughs> time, that's the time you will know that, <laughs> that actually some of these things, Damascus, the juice is not yes, worth the yes, squeeze. Yes, yes, yes. So shash, shash you, so, because I saw in the newspapers, they say shash is causing what problem to the youth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, shashamani, mm. um, one of the reasons why people consume bang, mm. uh, we have the medicinal value of it, of yeah. it mm. which of course bang should be, regu uh, should, be legalized. should be legalized and they should regulate the mm. consumption mm. only when prescribed by a doctor. Mm. Then it should be consumed. Mm. Ba bang is also an appetizer. You know, a person who <laughs> smokes bang <laughs> can finish. Yeah, oh, well, it's <laughs> <laughs> of Ugali. You see? Yes. And uh, it also an, it's also an aphrodisiac. Yes. You can also perform. You know the performance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tibimizing yeah. and tialalizing. <laughs> 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 you, see, you, can, you, consume, you can even uh, lima all shamba. You, you can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Eh? But too much of it is what is not uh, advocated not good, yeah. for. It's yeah. not good at all. Yes, yes. Yeah, although I could encourage youth that uh, it's not good because every other drug mm. is very harmful to the health. Number one, it's mm. destroying your body organs, mm. which means that your lifespan is going to be shortened. Mm. Uh, number two, uh, your impairment mm. when it comes to reasoning mm. is lowered. Mm. So which means that you'll be making judgments, mm. decisions, mm. which are not mm. very favorable mm. to people mm. or, to the, or to the atmosphere yes. where you are. Yes, yes. So I would urge youth to just refrain from all, this. from all drugs. Personally, I've consumed everything, but I didn't see the benefit of it all. Mm. It only led to it, you, it. It it almost led to my destruction. Do you think that people consume or abuse the drugs because there's no legal framework and there's also there's no 
instruction on use. So people just use it without knowing what is the limit. How many puffs or uh, rolls should they uh, use in a week maximum? I think when it comes to consumption, mm. maybe it goes to, it boils down to probably the addiction. Yes. Because the little you consume, it leads you to another, uh, another smoke. It's very addictive, yeah. Yes. When you get addicted to drugs, you can consume to no limit. Yeah. And uh, number two, when uh, probably you are stressed, when there's depression, depression can come as a result of family issues, mm -hmm. marital issues, mm -hmm. uh, uh, when there's unemployment. Mm -hmm. that th those are reasons, those are some of the factors of, uh, of depression yes. and can make you actually mm -hmm. get involved in drugs so that mm -hmm. you can temporarily forget your challenge. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you that after you are sober, <laughs> the challenges catches up with you. So it's only important <laughs> yes. and very urgent for you to always face your challenge. Don't yes. run away from them. Yes. Don't, don't, don't say that if I drink alcohol, I will forget about it. Yeah. Soon after, when you're sober, it will catch up. So just face your challenges. Mm. Deal with them. Mm. Every other thing that has happened on earth mm. has a solution. And yes. there's nothing new. They've happened before. Mm. And when they happened, that's why now it's good also to know history. Because when they happened, there's a way by which they were solved. Mm. So read, find out how challenges are solved. Mm. But to me, I prefer facing my challenges. I'll never run away from a challenge, even if I remain uh, alone. Uh, alone. Yeah. So, yes. And and now you have the uh, after college, you yes. know, after all these degrees, uh, and 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 you and Ruto being the people who have <laughs> never <laughs> you have sold chicken, you have sold Changa, you have sold chicken. Yes. And now you are in the in parliament in politics. Yes. I don't know how you view politicians generally, you know, because, you know, people have a view of um, what a Kenyan politician is. You know, Robert, and, yes. soon you'll be a leader. Yes. There's a difference between being uh, an activist mm. and a leader. And a leader, yeah. And a politician. Mm. The process of being a leader, one of the processes of being a leader mm. is through election. Yes. For you to be elected, you have to be a politician. Mm. The question is, what do you do with the politics after being elected? elected yeah. If you get in mm. as a missionary leader and not a visionary leader, mm. you are meant to fail. Mm. If you get in as a political dealer mm. instead of a political leader, mm. you are meant to fail. Mm. So the general notion of the masses mm. is that politicians are bad. Mm. Not all politicians are bad. Yes. For example, when you take Babu Owino, mm. is he bad to the people of Mbakasi East constituency? The other day, mm. we were ranked at number five, mm. the performance contract mm. in the whole country for mm. having been the fifth most best member of parliament in Kenya and the second most best member of parliament in Nairobi in terms of service delivery and development. Mm. What does it mean when you are elected? Mm. Some people are elected because they want fame mm. and more fame. Mm. Some people are elected and that comes with power. Mm. You want just power. Some mm. are elected because they just want to make money. Mm. Some are elected because they want to serve. Mm. As Babu Owino, because I know where I came from, mm. I know what it feels mm. to, to sleep born, hungry. Yes. I know what it feels mm. not to go to school because of lack of fees. I know what it feels when you tell me that you have hospital bills mm. and the doctor cannot attend to you just because you don't have some money. Mm. I know what it feels to suffer. That's mm. why when I said I wanted to be a leader, mm. I became a leader to change the lives of the people for the better mm. so that I can transform lives. Mm. That mm. is my main goal in life. Mm. But for some people, probably because of power, they want to protect their, wealth. They want to protect their interest, their mm. wealth. Mm. Some people because they just, they don't want money. some also because they want to sleep with women. <laughs> That's there. <laughs> so that when they are in You're power. Very beautiful women in power. <laughs> yes. So yeah. they stop reasoning with this head, they yes. reason with the other head. But the other head has no brains. <laughs> it's in here, it's in here, Robert. <laughs> that's, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. the, the kind of leadership, well, tell me what you've achieved in East. As Babu Owino, mm, since I, you came in, it came in, in 2017. In 2017. Yes. Number one, what I did before contesting, mm. I had to get issues of concern yes. of the great people of Mbakasi East constituency. And the first issue was, and partly is, because I've solved a, a, a bigger chunk of it, the majority, mm. the larger percentage. Number one, roads. Mm. Poor roads. Number two, water. Mm. Number three, 
unemployment. Mm. Number four, education. Mm. Now that is where it comes to issues of bursaries mm. and uh, uh, lack of enough schools, mm. insufficient schools around, mm. and also the quality education that they're achieving there. Mm. And then number five, sewerage and sanitation. Yes. So on roads, what have I done? On roads, when it comes to Embakasi Ward, I have five wards. Mm. So in Embakasi Ward alone, <coughs> You know of the famous Nyayo Gate B yes. road. Mm. Uh, that is a Feather Gate B road. Watering to Gate that is B. Nyayo, yes, from Feather Stage to Nyayo Gate B. Mm. You are chairman of uh, Nera, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they miss you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be there because yeah. there was a lot of discipline yes. <laughs> there. But even now, the current chairman is doing mm. well. He's trying to yes, do Yes, it's yeah. only that uh, he's walking on the shoulders of the giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, mm. that famous road, mm. Then the road be from gate B, mm. moving to Kwandege, yes. Tamak. Then the road moving from Feather, yes. all the way, moving towards Aviation, Tamak. Yes. Then there's a road that is moving from Kwandege, mm -hmm. right away from Kwandege, through Tasia Police Post mm -hmm. to Baraka. Mm -hmm. As we speak, mm -hmm. either tomorrow, or by Friday, later Saturday, it shall have been tarmacked, mm. as we speak. Mm. Then, there's a road that is moving from Tasia stage, mm -hmm. that is going to Catholic Church, mm. already tarmacked. Then the road moving from Catholic Church, that is in Tasia, Kijiji, mm. all the way to Kwandege, mm. is going to be tarmacked very soon. Mm. Then there's Kajuju Road, mm. being tarmacked by latest Friday, Saturday, mm. which means that all the other works, done. Yes. That is in road. Then we go to uh, Donom, that is Upper Savannah Ward. Mm. Then again in Embakasi Ward, there's a road that is moving from Stage 75, mm. that is Embakasi Garrison, mm. through Baraka Estate mm. to Riverbank, yes. all the way to Jakaranda. Yes. Tamak. That it's road done. Used, to, used to be my best, but it used to be the worst. Yes, Not but now all. done and dusted. Mm. Then we go to Upper Savannah Ward, that is Donom. Yes. <coughs> As we speak, mm. Don, Old Donom Road, mm. that is Donom Shopping Center. Mm. By Friday, Saturday, latest, will be tarmacked. Donom phase five is going to be tarmacked in the next two weeks. Tarmacked means already the works started, 90% done, only 10% remaining. Tarmacked. Mm. Then Donom phase eight, mm -hmm. tarmacked. Mm. Harambe Sako Road, tarmacked. Mm. The famous Manyanja Road, mm -hmm. tarmacked. The road between Jakaranda Roundabout to B Center, mm -hmm. tarmacked. Mm. New Donom Road. Where all the evil Tamak. things happen. No. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed that. Yes. <laughs> now, yeah. uh, the New Donom Road, yes. Tamak. The road leading to Vumilia slums, yes. Tamak. The road from Vumilia to Kamola slums, yes. Tamak. That is Donom. Yes. Let's go to Tawala. Mm -hmm. The famous road between Benedicta to Kinka, mm. Tamak. Mwai Kibaki Road, Tamak. Gidunguri Road, Tamak. Uh, Fahari Road. The Nguri used to have biggest portals. Imagine. Yes. All those roads are tarmacked. Yeah. The Ring Road mm. that is going but through the shopping to, we center. Need to, we need to walk and check these videos. Yes. Seriously tarmacked. You know, I can't talk about that and my constituents are hearing me. Yes, what yes. if they say he's lying, you know? Yes, yes. I'm not lying. Mm. And they can attest to that. Mm. The Ring Road, tarmacked. That is um, Utawala Shopping Center Ring mm -hmm. Road, tarmacked. Mm. Then let's move uh, straight to Mihango. Mm -hmm. Now, Miango Link Road, mm. Tamak. St. Michael's Road in Miango, mm. Tamak. Mm -hmm. Halingam Road in Miango, mm. Tamak. Mm. Then, uh, as we speak, mm. the road that is passing through Rofin School, joining all the way to Kangundo Road, mm. Tamak. What? Now, that is on roads. Mm. Let's come to water. Mm. We've managed to do several boreholes that is providing fresh water mm -hmm. in Embakasi East constituency. Number one in Lower Savannah, mm -hmm. we have a borehole at Patanisho, mm -hmm. we have a borehole at the Chief's Camp, and these boreholes, they have water kiosks con constructed around. And they have good quality water because the fresh water was very per salty. Day, fresh water now, mm. per day, mm. and any that is salted mm. is converted. Through reverse osmosis. Yes, through reverse osmosis from mm. hard water to soft mm. water. Mm. It is converted, which makes it uh, 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 consumable. Yes. Consumable. Mm. So, and every borehole mm. has water kiosks around, a mm. distance of around, uh, a diameter of around one kilometer. Mm. Yes. Mm. Diameter, radius, radius, no, diameter is one kilo, radius is one kilometer, diameter is yes, two, kilometer. two kilometers. Mm. Yes. 
with the water kiosks around. Mm. Baraka Estate, we have a borehole there, mm -hmm. going to serve Riverbank Estate, mm. Riverbank Slums, mm -hmm. with water kiosks. The water is enough from the borehole? All Providing 100,000 liters per mm. day. 100,000 mm. liters per day. Mm. Then we go to uh, um, Tasia. Mm -hmm. There's a borehole. Mm -hmm. There's a borehole constructed at the SDA church mm -hmm. with five water kiosks. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Mbakasi Primary, a bowl done there. A bowl has been sunk there, serving Juakali, another one serving so Sokoni. Mm -hmm. Those ones are branches. Those are the, the water kiosks. Mm -hmm. <coughs> then move very fast to Miango. Mm -hmm. In Miango, mm -hmm. we have a borehole at the po post. Mm -hmm. That is at Choka, Ch Choka Police Post. Mm -hmm. uh, a bowl at Miango Secondary. Mm -hmm a bowl at Miango Dispensary, mm -hmm. and a bowl, a bowl near the GSU area. Mm -hmm. That is for uh, provision of water. Mm -hmm. Then in Upper Savannah, we have a bowl at Vumilia that mm -hmm. is serving Kamola, mm -hmm. serving Kotieno, mm -hmm. serving uh, uh, Karsan, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and serving Vumilia itself. Mm -hmm. So those, those bowls are providing fresh water with the water kiosks. Mm -hmm. Then I did distribute water tanks. Mm -hmm. 10,000 liter water tanks. Each. 50 of them in mm. a Bakasi's constituency. Mm. Where, mm. if we lack water, mm. I do send uh, the water bozers mm. to refill them on a weekly basis, and people are just getting water for free mm. Mm. on a weekly basis mm. for free. Mm. That is, if there are some certain areas that lack water. Mm. So, these, these water tanks, I gave the management to the youth that we pay some little amount to take care of them so that they are not vandalized, mm. uh, stolen, or even sold to other people. Mm. So, and then in what, again, there's a big project that is being done, that we, uh, when Chelugui was a minister for water, mm. <coughs> I approached him, and he did piping in the whole of Mbakasi's constituency, as we speak. Mm. They've done metallic pipes, mm. not the plastic pipes, mm. because plastic pipes, cartel can... Uh, Cartels used to at mm. least uh, break them, yes. make different holes of different diameters that mm. makes water come with low pressure. Mm. But now it is metallic that you cannot vandalize. Mm. So the metallic uh, uh, piping that has been done will distribute water to the whole of Mbakasi's constituency. Mm. A water reservoir has been constructed at Mbakasi Garrison mm. that, is, that will contain 1 million liters. It has 14 million, it can contain 14 million liters that can distribute water to the whole of Mbakasi East. Mm. Therefore, in the next one year maximum, mm. water will be pumped mm. from Muranga to Gigiri, from Gigiri to Mbakasi East. Mbakasi Garrison, from Mbakasi Garrison, where there's that container, the water reservoir mm. that is storing water, mm. that will be distributed mm. to different parts of Mbakasi East constituency. Mm. That is water and roads. Mm. Let's come to education. Mm. Every year, we do give presidential scholarships mm. to those needy mm. students and they are taught for free from Form 1 to Form 4. Mm. Up to now, mm. we've done 120 scholarships. From, from, from one, 1 to Form four. 4 are taught for free. Mm. Number two, I do give bursaries mm. on a yearly basis. Mm. 8,000 families, mm. 8,000 learners, mm within Mbakasi's constituency every year mm. that I give them bursaries at mm. high school level, college mm. level. Primary school? Primary, no. no. Primary is free. Yes. It is high school, college or university yes. or vocational training, training institutions yeah. where they train matter skills. Mm. That is on uh, education. Mm. We have already managed to, to renovate Donham Primary School mm -hmm. and do proper Toilets. They used to have latrines. Mm. In this age, in Nairobi. How many primary schools do you have in the constituency? We have uh, public primary schools. We have around six. Mm. Yes. In the, the whole constituency. In the whole constituency, we what? have six. That is why I told public you education. Schools. Yes. Only six. Only six. So I'm going to do a primary school at like Tasi. Nyando, Nyando, we have one hundred. You, you see, that primary? is why that is why leadership mm. something has to be done. Mm. Because in education, we have to do something. And again, these primary schools were set up by the government. Also, the availability of land. Mm. You find that in towns, in town areas, the public utilities, they are not as many as there mm. in the 
in the rural areas. In the rural areas. Yes, yeah. so that, that is what brings that challenge. Yeah, because these are also new yes. estates. They're not so old. Yes, yeah. so Donham Primary School we've renovated, mm. and then we put for them a water reserver there. Mm. And then we've also done for them toilets, mm. very nice ones. Mm. And then when we go to Edelville Primary School, mm. they used to use pit latrines. Mm. As we speak, we've done a 20 dot modern toilet mm. that is going to cater for persons with disability, mm. ladies, gentlemen, teachers, mm. scattering for everybody. Mm. Then in Donham Primary School, I'm constructing a secondary school starting in a month's time. Mm. The secondary mm. school, I don't know to name it Babu Oweno. No, don't, or name, it. don't, don't name it or Babu Oweno. Or uh, <laughs> Uhuru uh, Uhurai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or just Donom Secondary yes. School. Yes. But all in all, it's a school that is going to transform the lives. Yes. In Embakasi Primary School, I've renovated it. Mm. Embakasi Primary School. What, what do you do with these two pieces of land in Nya Embakasi? Which were the three pieces of land, two primary schools and a secondary school? The parcels of land are, 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 are contested. Mm. Because I wanted to build a primary school in Tasia. Mm. But the problem in Mbakasi also, there are serious cartels. Yes. And uh, even at the top leadership, mm. there are cartels mm. where they take these lands, they mm. do their private commercial stuff. Mm. And uh, fighting them is, 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 uh, is, uh, is not very theory. easy, but it needs some serious force, mm. which of course we can manage, mm. but it might take some time. Because time, the yeah. moment you want to construct, they run to court. Mm. They say that is there piece of land. of land. So that is what is happening in Nyayo because mm. the other day I had a meeting with the, with the leadership and mm. they were proposing that I, I construct a primary school there, which I wanted to do. Yes. But there's already somebody who is claiming that that, that is his piece of mm. land. Mm. So, but we are going to just get to the bottom of it. Yes, yes. yes. Then again we bought buses. Mm. Uh, bought a bus for Embakasi Garrison Secondary that mm. will be used by the Garrison Primary and the Mbakasi Primary for mm. that ward. Mm. I bought a bus for Miango Secondary. I'm mm. giving them on, on Friday, this mm. Friday. Mm. That will be used by Mawa Primary, which, are, which of course, again, the Mawa Primary have renovated classes mm. and have constructed more classes in mm. Mawa Primary. Mm. Miango Primary have renovated classes and have constructed more classes mm. in Miango Primary. So that bus will be used by uh, 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 Miango Secondary, Mawa Primary, Miango Primary. I've also bought a bus mm. for Utawala Secondary mm. that will be used by Utawala Secondary and Utawala Academy. Utawala Academy is a public school. Mm. So the word academy should not should not, mm. yes, yes, uh, yes. Should, not scare people. should not be misconstrued a to mean that it's a private school. It I is a know, public I don't know school. Who and it was academy. number one. Yes. Ever since I came to Embakasi, mm. Utawala Primary has always topped Nairobi. Mm. When I came, it was number three. Last year, it was number two. This year, number one. it's number one in the whole of Nairobi, KCP. Mm. So I think... Uh, it's a public primary school. It's a public primary school. So when it comes to... It's not schools, the Olympic of the... The Olympic, the Olympic used to, uh, to do very well. Yeah. yeah. So that is matter schools. Empowerment mm. of women and youth. Mm. We've really done it. We've been given uh, jobs mm. at Coca-Cola. We mm. take our youth and women. Mm. Jobs at Kemsa. Jobs at Container. Mm. Jobs at Naiva Supermarket. Even when I was coming on my way here, thanks to the CEO, uh, Mr. Charles, he's just given me some 30 slots mm. for the youth in Embakasi to be given jobs at Naivas. Some will be employed as accountants. Others will be doing uh, uh, the, these day-to-day -day jobs of, mm. uh, of uh, the... Um, loading and yes, of, of loading of planning, goods yeah. in various areas. There's quick mud that has employed our people. Mm. So and now you have that quick mud there in yeah. Yes. In, yeah, in so the first thing before you construct a supermarket in Embakasi East, mm. you have to tell me how many people you are going to employ, are going from, to employ the from the area mm. and what they are going to be paid. Mm. And if possible, for those who have a good heart, they also say, Babu, but we can But you also have good industries there. Yes. Yes. So we always maximize on the industries to give jobs to our youth. Mm. And also on top of that, we gave a Uwezo fund. Mm. Less than three months ago, we mm. gave 10 million as Uwezo fund mm. for our women and mm. for our youth. Mm. And they are doing businesses. Mm. And also there's, uh, there's table banking that mm. we introduced in Embakasi's constituency. Mm. The highest group now has around 753,000 mm. 
that they've accumulated. Mm. So they just get loans from within their groups mm. and then they, they, they do yeah. businesses, they mm. empower themselves. Mm. We've done uh, water tanks for youths, we've done car wash machines for youths, mm. I've, done, uh, I've bought motorbikes for our youth mm. in the slums so mm. that they can at least do whatever they can do. Mm -hmm. So that is that. I've, already, I've also constructed uh, more offices for the DCI at Mbakasi Police Station mm. and this is meant to provide security. Yeah, there was that piece Not of land next to Feather. Next to the Feather police. Estate. Yes, for the yes, police. that was for the police, but is it is it still being contested because the matter the, is in the, the court. The, the crooks, yeah. Yes, there's a crook that uh, <laughs> took it and yeah. said that it is his. Yes. Yes, so I didn't want to bring issues there, but mm. we are going to go to the bottom of the matter because yes. it is a I matter think you need to hand it over law. to the military sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the president <laughs> hand it over to the military too. They, they build a barrack there. <laughs> yeah, they need a barrack there. Yes. So yeah. we've built uh, offices, more offices for the DCI mm. for provision of security. We've done, uh, on se in security, we've also done high masts. Okay. High mast in Choka. Yes. We've done high mast in Tasia, mm. high mast in uh, Vumilia. And I'm bringing eight more high masts in the next one month mm. within Mbakasi. They are evenly distributed. Mm. So I think uh, whoever will not vote for me in Mbakasi mm. in 2022 <laughs> is not because I've not worked. Yes. It's because that person does not like my face. Mm. Only. <laughs> but according to me, yes, you've done better. I've overworked. <laughs> I've overdelivered. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so generally, the, the you know the perception before you went in, what yes. changed? You know, from you know, there's a perception you had. Yes. What did you think of differently than now you are inside the politics, the parliament? What do you think of politicians and politics as at large? I think the Bible says that for you to lead, mm. you must serve. Mm. For you to lead, you must be a servant. Mm. So any person who wants to be a boss as a leader yes. never delivers. Mm. But if you want to lead, serve, serve mm. people, mm. just serve them because they'll give you another opportunity mm. because they know that you are the person who is entrusted mm. with their lives. Mm. You know, I always joke a lie that voting is more, more confidential than even having sex. Because when you have sex, the two of you, one can talk. Mm. But when you vote for a person, <laughs> it is between you and your heart. Yes. So when a person takes your name, mm. that person wanted you to change his or her life. Yes. So that person meant business. Mm. And he, he really wanted you. He was serious that this is the person who's going to change my life. Mm. So when you've been entrusted with that opportunity of changing lives, do it. At least do what you can do. Mm. Because if the resources are there, why don't you just change the lives? Mm. I know not everybody will be satisfied. No. No. But... Just hold one, one person's hand, that person will also hold another person's yeah. hand. And pole pole, mtafika. Mm. But I believe that uh, the perception that I used to have probably is that these politicians are enjoying. And you know, <laughs> in the whole of this parliament, out of 349 MPs plus senators, mm. plus governors and MCAs, I'm the only person who has never enjoyed. Why? <laughs> because number one, when I got in, mm. I was arrested. For? For, for we were fighting said, with yeah. the president. Yes, yes. Then re-arrest. For re-arrest again. They uh, Trump up, uh, trumped up charge. They yeah. said that uh, that I don't know what happened during election period. <laughs> that there was an assault <laughs> yes, case. Yes, yes, yes. Then another arrest. For they said that I that uh, a parking attendant was attacked. You know, in yes, Kenya, yes, when yes. something <laughs> happens, they just <laughs> who has been talking bad, Babu, come here. You're the person who might have done this. So they arrested me first because, do you, do you, and then do you, they do asked you, me by have, day, what did you do? Do, do you just hmm? attract trouble <laughs> or trouble attracts you? But you see, hmm. I was also meant to understand. I think you're breaking my record now. I was also meant to understand <laughs> yes. that uh, not all storms are meant to destroy you. Yes. Some storms are meant to clear your way. Mm. So these storms that, that, that are there, they are meant to clear our way. Mm. Because when you see trouble just following you and you are not finished, then you are God's chosen. <laughs> you see. So, yeah, so after that, we had an election petition. Yes. That went for six months mm -hmm. from in high court. Then my election was nullified. Mm -hmm. Then another six months in court of appeal, mm -hmm. I was reinstated. Mm -hmm. Then another six months, my opponent went and further appealed in Supreme Court. Supreme Court. The then, opponent being then, uh, Nani Muredi. Francis Muredi. Mm -hmm. Then my election was upheld. The decision of the court of appeal was upheld. So one year, six months, 
you still don't know whether you are the sitting MP or the standing MP. One year, six months. <laughs> then I had, I had one year only of resting. Mm. Then after that, the issue of DJ Evolve came. Yes. After that. Issue of DJ Evolve, hospital bill, 17 million. Then monthly bills, mm. around a million per month. Mm that we go through. So it is just by God's grace that I even pray. And, 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 and just you trend every grace. day. I, I don't know what you and think about I the trend, issue of DJ, whenever I DJ trend, involved personally. With all the court, you know, mm. what, what do you think inwardly? Which, you, which people need to know? He's my friend, mm. number one. Mm. He's my friend and my very, very yeah. good friend. I was very happy to see today that he's very healthy. Yes, he's, he's extremely good. He's mm. healed. Mm. We are only going through the physio process mm. that, and very soon he's going to walk. Mm. That's all. Mm. But he's very healthy. Mm. He's a good-hearted man. Mm. He chose to forgive me. Mm. And the rest will be discussed. How is the court court. case? The court case is going to end soon. Mm. It's going to end soon. Mm. And uh, all these are God's plan. You know, in Jeremiah 29, 11, mm. God told Jeremiah that I knew you and I knew you in your mother's womb and I knew you before you were born. Mm. And I have plans for you. Plans not to destroy you, but plans to make you prosper. So God has a plan. How did you? How, for evolve, how did, God how, has how, a plan for myself. How did you handle the family? Because you know, the family seems to be your biggest supporter. You see, I want to create time. Mm. One day, when this case is done, I will tell Kenyans what happened, mm. and I will explain it fully. Mm. Right now, if I talk about anything, court may perceive it that I'm admitting guilt. Guilt, yeah. Yes, but even in all those things, mm. nothing was intentional. That yeah. is what I can tell Kenyans. Yeah. But I will discuss it. Um, it is it is something that I will have to discuss. It is yeah, not something that I will have to run away. Before with. even this thing happens, you know, when I was raised from the slums, mm. I came with that mentality up to date. Mm. Why? Because it is a sympathetic mentality. When you tell me you're suffering, I know you're suffering. Yeah. So in the club, when I sat there, the mm. waiters, the mm. waitresses, the DJs, those are my friends. The best friends. Always. Those are the best friends that I can have when I was having fun. And those are the people that I used to bring close yeah. when we were drinking. But when this case happened, yes. some of the biggest people were pushing for your prosecution and jailing yes. were this gang of DJs. I think I think everybody was trying to be a DJ that time. And Yes. And I know, I know. You know, a lie when you are down, mm -hmm. people will get an opportunity to step to on you. you yeah. And uh, even when you lie flat, they'll still say you are not flat enough. They still want to finish you. Yeah. And when you are down, they'll still want to just dig a hole and bury you. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, you will have to fight your way up. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus Christ mm -hmm. was crucified, mm -hmm. who is Babu Owino? To not be crucified. Not to be butchered. Mm -hmm. Or to be turned day, into a means to is, is there a time where, eh? where you don't trend? When you show your face online? You know, it's it's not very easy because when evil is sick, I'm also sick. Have you so, ever met somebody physically who wants to harm you because of DJ Evolve thing? I've met people who, want, who always want to pray for DJ Evolve and pray for myself. Yes. Yes. Apparently, I've been meeting people who just wish me well. Yeah. Well, wishes mm. him well. Mm. And very soon, actually, DJ Evolve, he has passed the stage of dying. So even the person who was saying yesterday that that, that he's dead, I think that's that person and you know, is just this is where of sometimes, you know, and, and, and this I speak my mind that people expect me to ask you very controversial questions and, they, mm. and this is what I think about the DJ world that at some point we online because you know this is a community which we, we all mm. belong to we online sometimes wish that DJ world died so that Babu would be punished yeah you know uh, Robert it's very unfair mm. Um, Babu Owino, mm. having come from a very poor background, I know what poverty is and I know what mm. it means to lack. Mm. Having come from ba that background, I would not intend to finish the life of a fellow poor person. Mm. I would not intend. For what reason? For mm. what interest? Mm. Some people are saying we are fighting over a woman. Which woman? I'm married. Mm. Every other thing that any other woman can give me, my wife can give me double. More. And even more. <laughs> You see? Yeah. Other ladies, you may ask, uh, you may tell them, you know, I want it this way. Your wife will just give you without even asking how you want it. <laughs> so, which one is easier? <laughs> now, they were saying, oh, we were fighting over a woman. Yeah. So, it's really sad. Mm. 
on that note. Number two, some were saying we're fighting over business. Mm. I'm a member of parliament. There's no any other business I was doing with DJ Evolve, apart from the business of friendship. Yes. And let me tell you, DJ Evolve is a calm person, mm. extremely calm, mm. that you may think that he cannot even harm a housefly. He doesn't talk. Mm. So number one, he can't Thank harm you. you. He can't, he can't take... insult you. He's mm. just quiet, you know. Mm. 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 But I will tell Kenyans what happened. When, when it's all done. When, when, when things are done, soon, yes. when things are done, mm. and they're going to be done soon, mm. I'm going to tell Kenyans what happened. And they will see. That's why I never ran away. Mm. I never ran away. And I will never run away. If the intention, mm. would, would, would I stay? Mm. If the intention was to kill him, mm. would I stay? Mm. I would not. I would run away. So, a, Kenyan is a, is saying a, is that a, the intention a, was a, to kill him. It's, it's a painful thing. It yeah. was an accident, huh? Yeah. It, yeah, okay. Okay, after that, mm. after that baptism by fire, which you have to go through every time this May thing... I think this was God's plan. Okay. This was just God's plan. Mm. Yeah, I just don't want to go into details of it, but I will discuss it. I will just take like a whole day mm. discussing the nitty gritties of what happened. And they will know that there was nothing at all. After that, you started these lessons on the, yes, yes, yes. the Babu, I, I know the Babu, what is now called, what? The, the Educare Foundation, Educare or RGA. Yes. So what, what, what do you do? You know, because you surprised people by being such a good teacher <laughs> <laughs> online. Yeah. And you're teaching, it was maths, chemistry, what? There was maths and, maths and chemistry, chemistry mainly, yeah. Yes. But uh, we also introduced other subjects where yes. we were using other teachers. What has been the experience have... from teachers and students? Uh, I think uh, from our teaching, mm. the student who was number one in Kenya, that is Simiu, mm. and number two in Kenya. Mm. In uh, the whole country? In the whole country. Mm. They did testify mm. that uh, uh, our teaching mm. was part of the reason why they succeeded. And, and I can the say... the testimony, testimony in camera? They did. Yes. They did that mm. uh, in one of the interviews. They yes. were being interviewed. Yeah. And uh, if it didn't help them, they could have not mentioned it. But yes. because it helped them, they had to mention it because it was worth it. Mm. For me, I saw the need of, uh, uh, of helping our children because during that period was a corona period. Mm. Strong corona period. We, all, we still have a corona period, but it was, it was a strong mm. one and people were scared. Mm. People didn't understand it. People didn't understand it at all. Mm. And during that period, uh, some of our children were idling at home because schools were closed. Mm. So some were getting involved in drugs. Others were getting early, were be, being married. At, there was early marriage. Right. Others were being impregnated. Mm. So I came up with that idea that uh, if I had a talent with my very good friend uh, mm. uh, Ochieng here, Isaac Ochieng, mm. say said that I have a talent here. Why don't I use it to transform lives, to keep our children busy? Mm. That's why I started the lessons. Mm. I started teaching so that at least they, they get motivated. Mm. At least they, uh, uh, they use that opportunity mm. to pass the exams. Mm. They use that opportunity mm. to kill some time because an idle mind is a devil's workshop. workshop. Mm. So that is why I came up with that idea. Mm. And uh, since then, we introduced uh, more teachers who are handling all the subjects. Mm. And actually from class one, from grade one to grade four, from class five to class eight, from form one to form four, we have an app that is enshrined in a phone. That app, when you download it, it is called Educare Foundation, mm. O-R-G, mm. one word, org. Mm. You will get content from grade one to form four, from different teachers who are teaching in national schools mm. and when it comes to primary schools there are those top primary schools why did we use that criteria because a student in kisumu boys where i studied mm. he needs not to go to alliance to pass exams no. we can bring that alliance to you to by using an alliance teacher a teacher from uh, sorry a teacher from alliance high mm. high school mm. a student in um, in muranga mm. need not to go to Maseno school, we can bring that teacher from Maseno. Yes. So basically we just wanted you to get the best from the best. 
and and and, and it has worked and it has worked mm. right now we get we have so many testimonies there are those who also didn't score an a but mm. got a b plus others got a b but with an a in maths a in chemistry the ones that we handled which mm. means that uh, passing to a student is about motivation and and how that student views the yeah. teacher yeah so i would also encourage our teachers to be encouraging yes. to be our friendly. students don't be too serious in mm. class <laughs> yes. because the seriousness can make a student fail exams mm. If you are too harsh, if mm. you are unapproachable, then uh, results can be totally different. And you notice that even you, Robert, mm. in your high school or university or primary, those teachers who are lively, who yes. are friendly, yes. you just found yourself passing the exams. Yes, yes. yes. But those who are serious, yes. <laughs> remain serious even in life. They were being punished by yeah. their, <laughs> <laughs> their subjects were not being passed. Tell us. Politics now, yes, because you know the country has gone through. You know, we just from Madaraka Day, and the president spoke, the prime minister, the former prime minister spoke, uh -huh. and um, BBI. What do you think? I think uh, BBI is the way to go, mm. and uh, anyone who is not embracing BBI, who is not supporting BBI, is lost. Mm. Before 2010. We used to have only few centers of progress. Mm. Number one, we used to have Nairobi City. We used to talk about Nakuru, Mombasa, Kisumu mm. as the cities and centers of progress. Mm. Right now, we talk about 47 centers of progress, 47 counties mm. that has embraced devolution, mm. that has provided jobs mm. in 47 counties mm. as we speak. Why? because of the 2010 constitution, mm. which was opposed mm. by some people. And in fact, over three million people didn't vote for it. Mm. If you can remember, if I'm not wrong, yeah? Mm. Over three million people didn't vote for it. But now they're enjoying the fruits of that constitution. Mm. They're enjoying the fruits of some of the, um, some of the Bill of Rights mm. that we never used to enjoy before. Mm. That, they are didn't there, support, they didn't support. that are there, but they didn't support it. Mm. Right now, people are also, there are some who are opposing it, who mm. will also enjoy the fruits later on. Mm. So I would urge the president, you are the president of the Republic of Kenya. Don't listen to anybody on this. Le just be called a dictator, but de deliver the best. Mm. That which you know is best for Kenyans, deliver it to Kenyans. Mm. If people call you a dictator, we are there to defend you. We will defend you. At one point, I'm the person who was fighting the president most. Mm. But right now, the president has overworked. Mm. <laughs> A lie you can see. Yes. Look at infrastructure. Look at roads. Yes. The president has worked. Yes. Look at Nairobi alone. Mm. Hospitals have been constructed in every slum. Mm. Level 2, level 3, some are level 4 mm. hospitals. Mm. So for me, Uhuru Kenyatta has worked. And when it comes to this issue of BBI, it is going to help us. Some people are crying that, oh, it's going to increase wage bill. Mm. Between me and you, Mr. Robert, don't we want to be employed? Mm. So when more, many constituencies are created and other people become members of parliament mm. and more members of county assemblies, yes. is that not a job, a job that has been created? Representation. For a Kenyan, mm. it is a job. Mm. Number two, when that person who is a custodian, who is a patron mm. to that constituency, mm. has been added mm. over 100 million, mm. is that not an increment mm. in education sector or mm. security mm. at the constituency level? Mm. Will more schools not be built? More schools will be built. More bursaries will be given to people. More roads will be constructed because of an increment of money from 15% to 35% at the county level. Mm. More roads will be constructed because of the ward fund that has been increased. More jobs will be created in those offices mm. for more Kenyans. Then, when you construct a road, you construct a more hospitals, you construct more schools. Are you not using the manpower, mm. the youth, mm. to provide jobs? Mm. Are you not creating jobs for those youth? You are. Mm. So basically, you are going to increase money into the economy. And that is what we want. Mm. But you see, when the first excuse is there's higher wage bill. Mm. When there's higher wage bill and money that is being injected into the system is managed well, what is the problem if you get that, if you get that uh, service? Mm. 
What mm. is the problem? Mm. So for me, it's just about, we are just fighting this thing blindly. Let us support the BBI. Mm. Let us not say we are creating jobs for two or three people. Mm. Will, will Raila stay there forever? No. He will not stay there forever. Mm. But we need his leadership because we know that in 20, uh, 20 in, in, in 2007, mm. that is the only time that the economy of Kenya grew mm. so high mm. by the time that they were in a coalition government with Kibaki. Mm. So what does that tell you about Raila's leadership? Is that he delivers. That is the only time that we got a new constitution. Mm. And this time, let us also test him. We are not winding up this nation. Mm. We are not going anywhere. So according to my knowledge, I think BBI is in the best interest of Kenyans. And because you, money is going to come to the ground. And, you still and number, that, two, yeah. number two, the idea of killing each other, the mm. violence mm. after elections. Mm. Youths are being used after every elections. Mm. During elections, putting posters, there are no jobs. And people are being killed. We lose lives after uh, during uh, during after after elections elections should just be a one day affair where you vote and after that you just go home mm. and sleep mm. and let life proceed and services be delivered mm. but here in Kenya after elections we have another 2 years of fighting yes after that another 2 years of campaigns yes so when when will we work so there should be that space also so me i think that uh, because of that loss of property and loss of lives mm. it's going to also unite us mm. it's also going to bring us together such that when Agiriyama says we are not factored in, mm. they find their own in a cabinet. When Aluo says that we are not in this system, they find their own as a president in 2022. Mm. When Akikuyu fi fights that all oh, Modo Anyuba is not included, then they find themselves as a prime minister in mm. 2022. Mm. And lawyers find themselves as a vice president. Mm. Or, 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 or a deputy, you, or a deputy you, prime minister. And Akamba renting? finding themselves as a deputy president or a deputy renting? prime minister. Are you making an arrangement for 2022? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's already there. <laughs> it's already there. We don't need to hide these things. You yes. know, war, in politics, war is inevitable. You can only avoid it. You yeah. can never avoid it. You can, you can never postpone it. And yes. if you avoid it, you avoid it to the uh, uh, benefit mm. of your enemy. Mm. So you have to face it. So those who have drawn a line mm. on the sand, mm. we are on this side. We are mm. going to face you. Mm. And they are not going to win it. Mm. So Mr. President, whatever it takes. What do you think of the Supreme Court? Whatever the, the, it the, takes. The, 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 the High Court ruling. Uh, and now you know the, the High Court chief, ruling as a lawyer. The, the BBI 5. Yeah, the BBI 5. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and now you have the... You have the you have the two former chief justices. May I think uh, mm. procedural technicalities mm. should not override substantive mm. justice. Mm. What is the substance of what we wanted? Should only procedure make us lose it? Mm. It should not. Yeah. The baby... What is the spirit of the law? You know, mm. the spirit of the law mm. is for it. Mm. Everybody is embracing that this thing is going to bring change. That's yes. why... From the start, by collecting signatures, we got over 5 million signatures. Mm. What does that tell you? That the spirit is that we need it. Yeah. But the letter of the law mm. also does not tell us who should not mm. do this thing. Mm. But you see, president also being a representative of Kenyans mm. is a representative that was, that was, that was, that was uh, uh, entrusted with that role. Mm. What is the problem if he initiates? And did he initiate? That is the question. Did he initiate? Mm. And if he initiated, should that procedural technicality mm. make us lose the substance, the substantive mm. justice that we need? Mm. You know, those judges behaved like, sorry, but do you, you remember you the King, King a, Solomon you, judgment? You know you have a court case. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter even if I have a court case, <laughs> I know what I stand for. Yes. So for me, mm. I fight for what I think is right and I'm fighting for Kenyans. You think in the don't... end, my friend, yes. even those people in prison are going to die. Mm. And you see, there's another person who keeps on telling me that you, you'll rot in jail, what, what. <laughs> I told that? him, <laughs> I don't want to discuss it. Yes. I told him that in jail you don't pay rent, mm. you're mm. living for free, mm. there's free food. Only sex is lacking there. And probably if you are in the party of Sisi Kwa Sisi, maybe you can also get it, which I'm not in. But 
<laughs> Even those people in jail, yes. at some particular mm. point, we are all going, Robert. Yeah. We are all living this world at mm. some point. Mm. Let us live a better world mm. for the people who are coming after us. So it's not about getting scared of anything. So for mm. me, the BBI-5, they made a mistake. And that I can say. Let them, they, sh they ought to have read the mood mm. of the people. Mm. So I can leave it at that. But I know that the Court of Appeal is Good going to ensure mm. that we go for this BBI. And if they further appeal it, mm. the Supreme Court will seal it and will ensure that but we, we should, go for a referendum. we should have a referendum before a certain date. Referendum can be done in within, 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 within even 20 days. Everybody is ready. See, you and I know that we, we should go, we should be voting. Mm. Other Kenyans also know. We've already sensitized them. Mm. They know. Preparation, if there is money, then why not? Let them not tell us that we need 90 days. If you have money, so you will just call they'll Kisumu, they'll, they'll, you will they'll, call they'll, they'll, Muranga, you will <laughs> prepare, prepare, we are, we are coming for election. You say you need uh, uh -huh. 90 days to campaign. There is no campaign. We've already campaigned. Those, yes. those rallies that we used to do in every county, mm. they've already... Who doesn't know that there should be a referendum? Everybody now knows. Now, today, if we go and campaign in, in Rift Valley, mm. in some, some parts of Rift Valley, mm. will they vote for it? Some will vote. In some parts. Yes. But some will not. Yes. So it is automatic. We know those who will not vote for it, and we know those who will vote for it. That is how it is. <laughs> Wise man, it was very interesting. Very interesting to listen to your thought on, on, on the, on especially on the <laughs> on the BBI and now the two former chief justices as a lawyer. You know, they have decided to to attack, and even even people are questioning mm. the validity of the office of the former chief justice, who even has the coat of arms, mm -hmm. and the the office is not in. You know, there's those emoluments and all this benefit to the former chief justice, but mm -hmm. does the office is is the office created? You know, so people are asking that question. In, in, interesting to see what 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 do you think about the president's work in Kisumu? Me, I think this is the best president we've ever had. <laughs> Me, I can just say how that. Did because change, how did it change to Mtotoa to? To, to, to now this. No, that I said, a puppy. You know, people also say <laughs> different things. And puppy in Luo yes. means nyaguowa. Nyaguowa means a person we we love. We love. <laughs> so, so definitely. People, people just thought people it. misconstrued to mean their own things plus the media maybe. You but have become a real politician. But to me, yes. Uhuru Kenyatta has worked. You seriously? Mugala muwe na kiyake mpe. Especially the second term. Mm -hmm. Especially the second term as well. This second term, Uhuru has worked. Yeah. And Uhuru has won my heart. Genuinely speaking, when it comes to delivery, he has worked. Mm. And he's been moving and he's been launching these projects, commissioning Quietly. the projects, no launching speaking. them, no speaking. This man has worked. Mm. Give the devil his due. By this, the devil in quote, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> so he, Mimi am a supporter of mm. Uhuru Mwigai Kinyata, yes. number one. Mm. And he has worked, genuinely speaking. So Kenyans should rise above petty politics mm. and mm. just being political. Mm. Whatever happened between him and uh, Ruto, that is their business. Mm. That is none of my business or none of our business. Mm. But also ask yourself, why would a president fight a deputy so viciously? Mm. It's because a deputy has wronged. Why do you want to outshine your master? Mm. You are the deputy. You didn't want to be the president. And you should be helping the president to work. Your work is to, going, to, go, to go around campaign. What are you campaigning for? 2022 hasn't reached. Ni kama unapewa ile stick ya mbio, instead of kungoja, uletewe. We unaikujia. So una energy ya kurudi kumaliza race, si utashindwa. He says he has the energy. No, there is no energy there. Yeah. So Mimi Naona, with the president, he has worked. Mm. And let us also respect Uhuru. Mm. Let us not just throw words because we have right of speech. Now, Minambia, Mr. President, some of these people who are just throwing words, deal with them. Maybe even me, they dealt with me. Even you, lie, they dealt with you. Ukweli wongo. Sisa, isi support. Yes. Yeah. 
So hizi wewe pia una support. How do how do, how do you feel how do you feel the where where is the position of the party now? Do you think compared to where others are the party? Party as a as our chama ODM. ODM yes. I think ODM is the best party in the world. <laughs> it is the best party in the world with the best party leader in the world. Yes. And the strongest party leader in the world. Why you say that? I'm saying that because you know for you to look at parties that have that that uh, that have managed to win uh, uh, elections mm. in the previous uh, past they always dissolve going towards electioneering yes. period yes. then they form new parties new vehicles mm. then they use that to win elections then they form but odm is the only party that has stand has survived the test of time three, three elections the test of time and look at its uh, its uh, its uh, its strength at the grassroots level mm. up to the polling station there is leadership it's mm. felt mm. up to that level the structures mm. very strong very solid up to now ideologically also ideologically very strong mm, very solid in fact jubilee borrowed some of the ideas of baba copy pasted copy pasted and now they are implementing which is still okay they are working yeah as so a all president. for the benefit of kenya so for me odm is the best party in the world mm. with the best party leader mm in the world you have, you have all these friends you know you have malala mm. nani who is this the, the south african guy malema malema bobby wine then bobby wine zito this, zito kabwe yes. in uh, and you Tanzania. know zito i, I, I was um, i was mentored by the mother when yes. i was living in kigoma yes yes and you see that's why now you are a strong person <laughs> zito is zito, zito is also zito, very strong yeah zito yeah. is very strong <laughs> yeah. i would love to meet malema yes. because i think malema is a very strong uh, pro black empowerment yes. you know things like that bobby wine yes. is doing great near fighting museveni yes but uh, so i don't i don't know what lessons you borrow from them which i think we are we are a team of young leaders mm. with a vision Mm. because at some particular point we are planning to rule these nations at this some continent. particular time mm. yes wherever we are mm. we'll be planning to be leaders mm. and leaders at the apex mm. of these countries mm. so we compare notes mm. we borrow from each other mm. we learn I want, to, I want to talk from to our weaknesses and, and strengths so you need to give me his number definitely, yes. definitely. Malema, Malema. You, need, you need to talk to him. Dr. Malema, you yes. know, one of the most inspiring leaders yes. you were taking a, you know a bit of careless a, a bit of babuish <laughs> <laughs> i think it also depends on the leadership style yes because there are those who are soft spoken mm. they speak softly but mm. with a big stake yes there are those who are who Loud. are who, who are, let me use the word uh, not aggressive but passionate yes <laughs> let me not use the word being aggressive they are passionate yes yes and uh, there are different people with different types of leadership styles yes mashukuru sana thank you a lot for coming here mm. and that's all today for the from the audit asante thank you mashimiwa i wish you all the best you are a strong man <laughs> <laughs> asante sana thanks a lot